What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Bank You 101, coming at you today with your Week in Review. We've got some epic things that have went on this week, and I really want to go over them, so we're going to jump into things. This week, we had a massive update to the Infinite Warfare Modern Warfare Remastered game. Games, if you want to quote them as two games, which they are, but we had an update to both of them. In Modern Warfare Remastered, we got three new guns. The first gun is BOS-14, which is an AR, FANG-45, which is an SMG, and Procolat, kind of like Chocolat, is a three-shot burst handgun, which is epic. I've seen some people play with it, and that is awesome. You can only get them by crafting or through supply drops, just like every other gun in there, but at least you have the option to grind it out and unlocking it. Also, if you are a Modern Warfare Remastered fan, this weekend you're going to be able to play double XP and double depot credits. That's right. If you need some of those credits to unlock any of that new stuff or to do supply drops, make sure you go out there and slam it with Modern Warfare Remastered this week because double depot credits, that is awesome. Just go out there and play and have a good time on Modern Warfare Remastered this weekend. If you're not playing Modern Warfare Remastered this weekend, you might want to try out Infinite Warfare. I did a video on it. Link's going to be in the description below. But we got a massive update. The highlights for those updates is we got two new guns. The Trencher, which is an SMG, and the Augur, which is an LMG. Both are awesome weapons to use. And we also got score streak variants that's right you can now upgrade your score streaks and have variants based on them they're pretty cheap to unlock but uh you definitely want to because some of them are the same price as as far as kills or points as the regular ones so go out there make sure you unlock those go check them out before you do now the biggest news and this was talked about yesterday it's been all of the hype Everybody's been talking about it for actually a really, really long time. And we didn't know if this was going to happen because there has not been a DLC 5 for any of these games. And that's right. Black Ops 3 Zombie Chronicles is confirmed. That's right. Yesterday they confirmed Zombie Chronicles. It's going to be eight classic zombie maps. I'll leave the maps in the description below if you want to check that out. But it's going to be retelling the story. So basically what they were talking about is the fact that a lot of the new players for zombies have come in the past game or two. Uh, and they don't know the full story of things. Or they've just heard about the actual full story. So they wanted to redo these maps to bring back... Uh, the experience to people on a new on the new generation of consoles because they can actually do more obviously with the new consoles now with these eight classic maps they're going to be available on may 16th on playstation 4 that's right in less than two weeks these zombie maps are going to be available the one the two things that or the one thing that we do not know about just yet is there's no word on price when they first announced it, I thought it's going to be like anywhere between 20 and 30 bucks. But after thinking about it, it's probably going to be somewhere between 30 and 40 bucks. And the reason for this is is that for one, it's not going to be part of your season pass. Season pass means basically one year, and this is well outside of the one year. Also, they're giving you eight maps. It's not like they're dropping four zombie maps like they would might in like a DLC or something like that. This this is a whole eight maps. And I don't know actually if this is going to come out as a separate uh, disc that you can use. I know you'll be able to download it, but I don't know if you're actually going to need the Black Ops 3 game to play these. These might come out as a whole separate. If they do come out as a whole separate, they're definitely going to be at least 40 bucks. If it's just a DLC download and you need the Black Ops 3 disc to play these then you or the black ops 3 game then it could be anywhere between 30 and 40 bucks you think a standard uh dlc that comes out is 15 bucks and that's usually like four maps and a zombie map or something like that so if you're looking at eight zombie maps that's a total of eight maps you're looking at at least if it was in dlc value 30 bucks um if it's a standalone disc that you can just play these chronicles then it's probably going to be 40 bucks. 
We are definitely going to hear more coming this Monday, Treyarch said. Check out their Twitter, and you're going to be able to see when they're streaming this Monday uh, to find out a lot more on the Zombie Chronicles. These are actually pretty awesome. I'm I'm excited for this to come out, and I, I'm definitely going to be playing these when they, these come out because there's actually some zombie maps that I've never played that are on this list. So I'm excited to actually run through these maps and play them for the first time. So that's your week in review of the Call of Duty community. That's what's going on right now. Stop back here every Friday for your news. And until then, hit me up in those comments. Smash that like button. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next video.